Ricky Rick, and today we're at Swan's Trail Farm here in Snohomish, Washington. I am so excited because this place is a pumpkin patch and there's so much to do here. Come on, let's go explore. Today, I get to meet Farmer Nate. Are you Farmer Nate? Hi. No? Are you Farmer Nate? Could you be Farmer Nate? No, he's not Farmer Nate. What about you? Hey, I'm gonna vote like a scarecrow. Can you pose like a scarecrow? Activities to do here? Like, check it out, there's a hay hoist. Oh boy, this right here is a 50 pound bale of hay. Do you think I can lift it up? Well, with this pulley, I might be able to. Oh, I did it! Whoa, check it out! That's so cool, do you see this? That only has one rope tied to it. That's a one to one ratio, but check this out. This has six. Here we go. Check it out. Lifting this one was much easier. This stack of hay is 300 pounds. Do you think I can lift it up? I don't know. Whoa, not gonna happen. Whoa, this over here is the corn box. It's a box full of corn kernels. Have you ever seen corn kernels up close? Come on, check it out. The corn box has rules, and one of them is you can't wear your shoes. Ooh, they've got these little shelves right here for my shoes. That's perfect. Oh boy, it kind of tickles your feet a little bit. Ooh, and some more rules is no throwing the corn. Ooh, and keep the corn in the box. I'm making a corn angel. This corn bin is made up of thousands of kernels. I wonder how many there are in here. Look at those up close. Wow. Oh boy. That's a lot of corn. You think I can bury my legs? Let's try it. My toes go. There they are. Oh boy. I wonder how long it took them to get all this corn in here. That's a lot of kernels. Oh wow. I love the corn bin because you don't get dirty and you can play and it's just a different texture. Oh wow. It's kind of like a sandbox. Racing in the corn is hard because I don't have very good traction with my feet. This corn box is a lot of fun, but let's go keep exploring. Check out over here. This right here is a mining sluice. You have some dirt and there's some gems in this dirt. But first, we have to rinse off the dirt so we can see the gems. Check it out. You see this right here? It's a sifter. There's holes in the bottom of this screen. And when I shake it, the dirt will fall out. We can shake it, but not a lot of dirt comes out yet. So we're gonna dip it in the water and shake it in the water and see what happens. Oh, look at that. All these gems are coming out. Wow. Oh my goodness, I wonder what kind these are. Check it out, this right here is a gemstone collection card. We can pick up one of these gemstones and see where it matches. Hmm, <gasps> right here, this right here is pyrite. Isn't that so cool? Oh, let's do another one. Look at this green one, that's beautiful. It's green quartz. 
That's so cool. And we have crystal points. Oh wow, it's almost clear like glass. That's so much fun, I love it. Welcome to Swan Trails Mining Co. Oh, I see you got some gems today. We can put them in a bag so you can take them home. Oh my goodness, look at all these beautiful gems. This is so special. When you come to Swan's Trail Farms, you can get a little gem mining bag and take home all your precious treasures. That's so cool. Check it out. All those beautiful rocks in there. You know what I love about rocks and gems? Is they all look so different and unique. Hey, let's go see what this is all about. a big slide. Oh wow. Oh wow. and check it out. We've got these burlap bags so you can sit on them to come down so it doesn't hurt your bumby. That's pretty cool. Here I go. <laughs> that is so much fun. Let's do it again. Oh boy. Ooh. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love slides. It's such a different sensation. Should we try all three slides? There's one more. <sighs> Woo! Oh, I feel fast. There are so many slides here. Come on, I want to show you some more. Wow, check it out. There's these two slides and a tunnel slide. Oh boy, are you ready? Oh boy, wanna race? That's pretty fun. Let's try it again. Woo, that's a lot of fun. Let's try a tunnel slide. Oh, I can lay down in here. Wow, that's a lot of fun. Oh, check out this cute tiny slide. Oh, this is for little guys that might be a little bit scared of the big slide. Look at that. Hello! Whoa, they have a real life sandbox over here with tractors. Ooh, check this out. We have an excavator. And he can fill up this dump truck bucket. That's awesome. Do you see this over here? This right here is like a handheld excavator. Let's go check it out. All right, buddy. I'm gonna fill you up with sand, little dump truck. You scoop it, lift it, turn up high. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty hard. I bet it takes a lot of practice to be a real tractor driver. If a guy was in that cab, I just would have covered him with dirt. That would have been bad, huh? Oh, let's try one more time. Fun, but it sure takes a lot of practice. Look at over here. There's a big trampoline. Have you ever bounced on a trampoline before? Oh, maybe you haven't on this kind. Come on, let's go take a look. This is what they call a big jumping pillow, but you can't wear your shoes. Whoa! Check it out. I feel like a kangaroo or something. Oh, we can gallop like a horse. <laughs> or act like a monkey. <laughs> wow, this is so much fun. I'm gonna try my car wheel again. Woo! That's a lot of fun. Let's see how high I can jump. Whoa! Wow, can you imagine? This is all full of air. That's a lot of air. And that's why I can jump so high. Whoa, that jumping pillow is super cool. Check it out. This is barnyard baseball. All right, let's see how accurate I can throw. Oh. 
behind the board. Did you see that? I got it. Oh, now I'm gonna try the barnyard football. Oh boy. There's two different types of footballs here. I'll try this small one first. Behind the backboard. Oh, so close. Oh boy, I really gotta practice throwing, don't I? I almost had it. The more you practice, the better you get. All right, and the last of the sporting events is the barnyard basketball. Oh boy, I think I can do this one. That was the wrong hip, but I guess I still made it. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Hey, check it out. There's another slide over here. What? It's on the back of a dump chuck. That is so awesome. I love dump chucks. Oh, check it out. This slide is made of PVC pipe. It's a roller slide. Here I come. <laughs> it's kind of bumpy. Oh boy, that's a lot of fun. They have an indoor hay maze. You want to come check it out? Come on over here. Check it out inside of a barn. <gasps> this is so cool. Are you ready? Follow me. <gasps> we come through here, go up the stairs. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. <gasps> Look at all these hay bales. You could get lost in here. Oh. Dead end. Hi. Hello. This is so cool. You could run around this thing all day. Whoa, how do we get out of here? There's some more stairs. Come on. Check it out! This is the coolest barn ever! Ooh! Where are we? Ooh, I see something over here! Come follow me! I think it's a slide! Another slide? No way! I love slides! Alright, here we go! That's a bouncy slide. Come on. You did it. That's a lot of fun, isn't it? Oh, wow. That hay is sure deep. That's so much fun. Come on. Let's go check it out over here. Hey, Bracky Brack, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing really good. good. What are you up to? Well, I'm so glad you're here. We are out here picking apples. Oh, wow. Look at that basket of apples. What do you do with all these apples? Well, there's a lot of things we do. Sometimes we eat them fresh. Other times we'll make cider out of them and juice. Ooh. And then sometimes we just have them out here for decoration. Oh, I love that. <laughs> So how do you pick an apple? Is there a special way that you're supposed to do it? Ricky Rick, I'm so glad you asked that. Here's what I, you, you want to do. First of all, you look at the apple and you look for the ripest apple possible. Oh, okay. okay. Is it so dark if it's red? nice and yeah, oh, get it red. Okay. You want it as red as possible. Okay. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it and then simply lift it up. <gasps> Did if you see how that off, just snapped off? Easy. Oh my gosh. You never, Recky, never ever take it and pull it down. Oh. Do you know what happens when you pull it down? I have no idea. Well, what happens is, is it'll take next year's fruit bud that will make an apple next year. I did not know that, and I've been picking apples wrong my whole life. That's really good to know. Bracky, since you're here, can I do something? Sure. Here's an apple. Thank you so much. Should we try it? 
It's crunchy and juicy and so delicious. Oh, I could eat these all day. Do you eat a lot of apples? Well, I do a little bit. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> all right, well, Nate's gonna take us to the cider mill. I'm so excited to check it out. Come on. Well, now we're in the cider mill. Isn't this awesome? All right. Whoa, what is that, Nate? Well, Recky, this is what we call a cider press. And it's super old. Oh. So, what this thing does is we have apples that get put underneath this, mm -hmm. and then I pull this lever, and this thing goes all the way down and smashes the apples. Whoa! Guess what it turns into? Cider. And guess what, Recky? I got some for you. Oh, thank you so much. I get to try some real apple cider. Oh, that is the best apple cider I have ever had. So how many apples does it take to make a gallon of apple cider? That's a great question, Brittany. It actually takes 35 apples to make a gallon of cider. Whoa, that's a lot of apples. At the bottom of the cider mill, they have this awesome room where they store all their cider. And it's insulated, so it's super cold in there. Isn't that cool? Check out all these field events. We've got a cow train, tricycles, a ropes course, a hay pyramid, a zip line. What should we do first? Let's try out these tricycles over here. Oh wow, they've got big green ones, my favorite color, and little red ones. I think I'm gonna ride a big green one here. Look, it's got yellow wheels. That's pretty cool. Let's see if I can back it up. Ready? Here we go! Check out this race course! Sharp turn! Woohoo! I'm pretty good at this. Oh, another sharp turn! We're coming around the track. Here she comes. Breggy Briggs going fast. Coming to the finish. Last turn. Oh boy, the big straight. Here we go. I'm getting tired, but we can do this. Come on, Breggy Rex. You can do this. Let's go check out that ropes course over there. Come on, check out this ropes course. There's a rope tunnel. Oh boy, here we go. Hey, I'm almost there. Woo, oh wow. And this bridge. Oh, you gotta trust these straps. They feel really strong. I did it! And look at this! It's a rock wall! I gotta cross the rock wall! Oh wow! This reminds me of the time I went rock climbing! Do you remember that? That helped prepare me for stuff like this, huh? Hey! I have an idea! How about I try to go around in one big circle as fast as I can? Are you ready? Okay, you can do this, Brecky Breck. Are you ready? Let's go. <sighs> Gotta go across this rope ladder. Oh boy, it's a little bit tilty. That's okay. Oh, here, here comes the balance beam. And here comes the bridge. Oh, whoa, it's shaky. I'm doing it. Oh, whoa. Look at this bridge. It moves a lot. And the last obstacle, a rope bridge. Here we go. Check it out, that is super fun. This right here is a tractor pull. Look at this. It's got a rope attached to that lawnmower over here, which is a small tractor. 
You think I can pull it? It's 450 pounds, I don't know. I did it, look at that, that's pretty cool. And over here, we have a 2,700 pound tractor. Oh, this one probably takes a lot of people to work together to pull, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Ah, oh, I wish Uncle Teddy was here. He'd be able to pull this tractor with me. Check it out, this is a zip line, oh boy. This right here is a wooden seat attached with a rope, a carabiner, and a pulley system. Oh, here we go. You ready? Ooh. I'm coming in fast! Fun. I love zip lines. I made it to the top. Hello down there. Wow, you can see all of Swan's Trail Farms from up here. This is so cool. And they even have a corn maze. It's the shape of Washington State. And it has some really cool landmarks in it, like the Space Needle. Here comes Farmer Nate. He's gonna give us a hayride on the tractor. Before we get going, we have a safety poem. Oh, okay. All right. Read after me. This is a hammer. This is a hammer. And this is a nail. And this is a nail. When this wagon's moving. When this wagon's moving. Keep your bottom on the bale. Keep your bottom on the bale. Wow, I love that poem because it's helped remind us to stay safe. I love safety around here. Gotta stay seated when the tractor's moving. down, put a seatbelt on, and then go for a tractor ride. Isn't that so cool? Wow, let's take a closer look at this tractor. Oh wow, look at this tractor. It's got big tires. Oh wow, and it's the color red. I like that color. Oh boy, you know, farmers sure do love their tractors. There are a lot of tractors here. Here at Swan's Trail Farms, they have two corn mazes. They have a kid's corn maze and a big corn maze. Let's go check out this little one. Wow! Okay, we're here at the entrance to this kid corn maze. Oh, are you ready to explore the corn maze? I hope we don't get lost. Let's go! Which way should we 
we go! Let's go straight! I'm gonna put them in here and race them. All right, boys, let's go. Come on, Ducky, come on, Ducky. Wow, that one won, but good job, buddy. Hey, guess what? Here at Swan's Trail Farms, they have real life duck races. You wanna go see? Come on. Oh boy, now we're over here to watch a real duck race. Have you ever seen some ducks race? Well, ducks love water, so they're gonna fly down here, well, we hope, and get to the finish line. I can't wait to watch. All right, here comes the ducks. Wow, look at them, they're so beautiful. I really like that brown one with the speckles. That's so cool. Alrighty, here we go. Let's name the ducks. The first duck we have is the black one. The big black one is named after the famous racehorse. His name is the Black Stallion. The next duck is the two little white ones who race together. They need each other because they are twins. We call those guys White Lightning. The next duck we have is the big brown one. The big brown one, his name is Chuck the Duck. His name is Aplac. I think Chuck the Duck's gonna win this round. <laughs> Let's go Duck! <laughs> oh, come on Chuck, get the race! <laughs> treat at the end. That's pretty cool. Can you waddle like a duck? Gotta go back to our home. <laughs> oh boy, I bet they're tired. That's enough racing for today. Check it out. This is Farmer Ben's first tractor. You see that sign? Oh boy, look how old this thing is. Wow, can you imagine? I'm just dreaming about an awesome big farm that I'm gonna make. Hi guys. Wow, they're wondering who I am and what I'm doing. Hello. When you visit a pumpkin patch, you can pet all sorts of animals at the petting zoo. You can't always go in the pen. And I got permission from Farmer Nate, which is super cool. Oh boy, it's an honor to pet you guys. Oh, check it out. I get to hold a real baby chick. <gasps> Hi, little guy. Look at him, he's so soft. When you're holding an animal, you have to be super gentle and careful, okay? You miss your siblings? I'll put you back now. There you go, little guy. Thanks for letting me pet you. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, check it out. We've got Chip and Franklin, a cow and a miniature donkey. They're friends. Oh, hi, buddy. My shoes, you can't eat my shoes. Oh, he likes the pets. He's giving me kisses. <laughs> check it out. Here we have Sam the pony. Hi, Sam. You mind if I pet you? So sweet. Oh, and look at this big guy. Hey, Farmer Nate said I could pet him on the inside. Come on. 
Whoa, check it out. This is my little buddy Rocco. He's not little though, is he? He's huge. Well, hi Rocco. Farmer Nate said I could come in here and give you a little rub. Oh boy, he sure is friendly. Look at him, he's so huge. Can you imagine? He used to be just a tiny little piglet. And now he's gotta be over 600 pounds. Oh boy. I wonder how much he had to eat to get this big. Check it out, we have a mama and a baby cow. They're so cute. comes Hank the farm dog. Hi Hank. Oh what a friendly boy. Oh it's so good to meet you. I bet he takes real good care of this farm. the pumpkin patch. Oh, I love pumpkin patches because there are so many different types of pumpkins just like humans walking all over the world. Check it out. We've got some big ones and a tiny one. We've got white and orange. There's green ones too. There are so many different pumpkins. You know what's fun about pumpkins? You can carve them, you can paint them, you can stamp them on a piece of paper. There's so many things to do. Oh, and one of my favorite things is you can eat a pumpkin pie. Those are delicious. Hmm, we should find a good pumpkin. Look at this. I think I found the perfect pumpkin. But the little cleaning up, he's just right. You're coming home with me, pumpkin. Come on. Well, after you've explored all that the pumpkin patch has to offer, you can check out the Swans Trail Farm Country Store. Come on, let's go take a look. Wow, check it out. Oh, here's a little apple made from a book. That's pretty neat. They've got jams and sauces and pickles and stuffed pumpkins. There's so many cute things in here. Oh boy, check out this cow. Hey buddy, they've got a lot of cute stuffed animals. Whoa, check out this wall of stuffed animals. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of stuffies. They're so cute and cozy too. These look like all the farm animals that I got to see and meet. Look at this, this looks like the goat I was petting. Oh, he's so soft. And of course, you gotta try the apple cider if you ever come to Swan's Trail Farms. It's delicious. I've had such a great time exploring Swan's Trail Farms with you. This has been an awesome pumpkin patch experience. Thank you so much, Farmer Nate and Farmer Ben and Sandy for all of your help putting this together. Well, we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Hey friends, we're going on a books and bike tour all over the United States. We're going to have story times at local libraries where I'll read a couple of my favorite books. We'll make a fun craft and even have time for a little dance party. We're also hosting bike events you can attend at local BMX tracks. You can show up with or without a bike. I'll bring some extra bikes and helmets for those that don't have one. And we'll get to explore and ride around the track together. And while I'm in your city, I'm gonna film something amazing. Whether it's a cool museum, park, restaurant, or an awesome machine with wheels, I want to learn about it and all the things that make your city unique. And thanks to all of our amazing sponsors, these events are all absolutely free! Isn't that so cool? Oh boy, I hope to meet you on the road! <laughs>